Hey guys and welcome back or welcome if you are new. So today we're just continuing on with my clean beauty series and I'm really excited about today's video. I know I say that basically in every video but I am very excited about today's video because I'm playing with a brand or I'm trying out a brand that I have never tried before but I've always heard really really good things about and um, it's very very different for me so excuse my very haggard appearance right now it's first thing in the morning and I had quite a morning with both my boys so uh, yeah it's been that kind of day but I'm so excited to be sitting here and doing makeup with y'all so let's go ahead and get started All right, so I am not wearing my contacts today, clearly. So I'm gonna have to wear my glasses for a second just to read you all the information. Um, but then obviously I'll take them off when I apply makeup. So the brand that I'm talking about is Jane Iredale. And I have never tried any of her stuff before, but I've always heard really, really good things about it. So when I saw that they had this pure and simple makeup kit, I knew I had to grab this because it's really got a little bit of everything in it. So this is what the kit looks like. I got the shade medium light um, and this includes the pure pressed based mineral foundation. It actually has two shades, which I think is awesome. It also comes with a pure pressed blush. Uh, two pure pressed eyeshadows and the just kissed lip and cheek stain it really just gives you a nice little sampling of a lot of her really popular products all right so removing the glasses i'm just going to prep my skin a little bit i do find that if you don't properly hydrate uh, moisturize your skin really before any foundation but especially a powder foundation especially if you have dry skin or dehydrated skin it's really going to accentuate that dryness so I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of skin food and I just depotted this from the actual like green packaging I do not like the packaging so I put it in my own little packaging and this is a very very rich heavy thick cream but i absolutely love it and if you just apply a little bit um, it doesn't make your skin look too crazy too crazy shiny um, but i'm just gonna really work that into my skin with my hands so since we are uh, using a powder foundation obviously i'm gonna go in with a little bit of a cream concealer first and then we'll go in with the foundation so the concealer i'm using is the well people bio correct i've been using this basically for the last week i absolutely love it i do not own a powder concealer so i'm gonna go in with my cream concealer first and then we'll go over top with a foundation All right, so I just applied a little bit to my under eye. I don't wanna to go too overboard because I do find that this foundation has a good amount of coverage. So um, really I just wanna conceal any kind of under eye darkness. So now we're gonna go in with the foundation. This is the shade Amber and then this is the shade Radiant. So what I've been doing, I've honestly just been taking a mixture of the two, looking in the pan. One, uh, Amber looks a little bit more warm, Radiant looks a little bit more cool, but that's really the only difference that I can tell. So I've just been kind of taking a mixture of the two, but I do appreciate that they have two different tones in there. So you can kind of pick and choose what, what you want or combine the two. So for today, I'm using this Eco Tools buffing brush. This is a really, really large buffing brush. I know a bunch of different brands make a brush like this, but I love this for powder foundation, especially when you're wanting full coverage or you're really wanting to buff it into the skin. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this straight into both shades, really coat all my bristles. I'm then gonna take the palm of my hand, really work that powder into my brush, and then I'm gonna go in and buff this over my entire face. So I'm gonna take this smaller buffing brush, this is by Japanesque, and I'm gonna see if I can kind of build this up because I find that my skin is looking a little bit splotchy and a lot of my redness is still peeking through. So I'm gonna take a smaller uh, brush so I can have a little bit more concentrated 
placement and I'm gonna see if I can kind of layer this up and really build it up to a uh, decent coverage. All right, so going in with the smaller brush and just um, kind of layering where I need a little bit more coverage actually really, really helped. And I can notice a big, big difference. So um, definitely if you want more full coverage, kind of that just high impact immediate coverage, a smaller brush, um, or you can do it like I did, go in with a big brush and then go in with a small brush just where you need it. And that's probably how I'll do it in the future. But this is about, um, I think, a solid, medium, almost full coverage. I mean, it's basically covering any everything. I can still see freckles, um, but my freckles are pretty dark. And I, I find even with full coverage foundations, my freckles still tend to show through. But my redness is completely gone on my cheeks. And everything just looks really evened out. And then I'm just going to take whatever's left over on my brush and just set my concealer so it doesn't move around. Alright, so the skin looks really, really good. I did not do this method the last time, or the last few times that I've been playing with this. I did not do this method, and I like this method the best. So I think um, just to get the best result, I think just going over your entire face with a larger brush, just really even out the complexion as much as you can, then go with a smaller brush and kind of pinpoint those areas. And that goes with powder, creams, liquids. I mean, that's kind of the method that I use anyway. So it doesn't surprise me that it works well with powders as well. But the skin looks really nice and evened out. And this is definitely really, really good coverage. So I'm happy with this. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting, and now technically this kit does not come with a highlighter, but I wanna try and utilize this kit as much as I can. So I'm gonna take this eyeshadow. This is in the shade, uh, what is this, Oyster? And it's this shimmery cream shade. And I'm gonna take my highlighting brush, just pick up a little bit of that, and then I'm just going to apply that to the high points of my face. I have done this before and I think it looks really nice. It's a very natural highlight. It's nothing too crazy metallic or shimmery, which is kind of my type of highlight, but I think this is a beautiful highlight shade. So don't you don't have to necessarily use everything that it's, you know, for its intended purpose. Get creative. I'm going to take the blush in the kit, which is called Sheer Honey. And I will say a little bit of this blush goes a long way, so just be mindful of that. Um, it is very, very pigmented. Whew, that sun is coming through real strong. All right, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to the apples of my cheeks. I just love the shade of this blush, though, because it's that perfect, neutral, borderline bronzy shade. And I think it'll just go with any type of look, any outfit you're wearing. Um, this is definitely my kind of blush, but as you can see, I mean, it's pretty intense. So I'm just going to go in with my powder brush, just kind of blend that out a little bit because it's a little strong. And then for bronzer, I don't have, there's no bronzer in this kit. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my Well People Bio Bronze. Just gonna take a tiny bit of this, mainly concentrate it on my forehead, and then I'll just bring it down to my cheeks, just a tiny bit, just right at the backs of my cheeks, but I'm really not gonna apply too much of this. All right, so the skin looks really, really pretty. I think my biggest thing is, and this is no fault of the product, I think I'm just not used to this. I'm used to a creamy texture. I'm just used to a different texture and feel on the skin. So using all powders is a little bit different for me, but I really do love it the way everything looks on my skin. So now I think the key when using a ton of powder products, especially using a powder foundation, is to set it down with some kind of facial mist. So I'm gonna go in with this Coco Kind Organic Rose Water Facial Toner, and I'm gonna spray my face down. This will um, make all the powders really meld together and kind of become one with the skin so it doesn't look like powders that are just sitting right on top of your skin. And then one thing I forgot to do, so I'm actually going to take this Just Kissed Lip and Cheek Stain. It's like a stain balm, and I'm just going to apply this to my lips to prep them for the lip color that we're going to do later on. It's really pretty. It kind of gives you that, like, 
you just ate a popsicle look on the lips so i think this is really pretty i have not tried this on my cheeks but i think this is a beautiful product and this is something that i would definitely keep in my purse just if i wanted to add some moisture to my lips as well as a little bit of color it just kind of wakens up your lips a little bit and gives them a nice uh tint so i really really do enjoy that and then for the brows i'm just going to take a little bit of my glycerin soap i'm going to do a little soap brow action like we've been doing all week i'm going to use this as a brow gel and then for the brows i'm just going to use this pyt no bs eyeshadow palette that i have been obsessed with and i'm going to take this gray shade right here Again, this is a really great kind of multitasking palette as well. And I'm going to use this shade to fill in my brows. So, keeping with that, I'm going to go back into the Jane Iredale kit. I'm going to take... Um, I'm actually going to take a little bit of this blush, which is in the shade Sheer Honey. And I'm going to use this as eyeshadow, so I'm going to take on a large fluffy brush. And I'm doing a very, very light wash of this all over the lids. I don't want anything too intense or dark. I just want to put something on my eyes. You can use bronzer. You can use, I mean, anything. Even that oyster color would be really pretty. I just want something with a little bit more color. And then for a little bit of highlight on the eyes, I'm going to go in with the shade Oyster, which was the shade that we use, whoops, as a face highlight. And I'm going to apply that to my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes. All right, so off camera, I'm, gonna, I'm going to curl my lashes, apply some mascara, and then when we come back, I will show you one of the most beautiful lip colors. I'm so excited about it, and um, it's really, really affordable. So we will be right back. So for the lip, I wanted to do something really colorful. I feel like the last week I've just been doing really nude, natural lips. So I wanted to show you a clean... A uh, fun red lip option. So this is the Pacifica Natural Minerals Devotion, I think is what it's called. A deeply devoted natural lipstick. This is in the shade Firebird and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous red shade. When I looked at it online, it looked a little bit more orangey red, but this is more of a it's a pretty true red. So before I go in with that, I'm going to take a little bit of this antonym uh, lip pencil. This is in the shade Coral and this is a kind of nude coral shade and I'm going to use this to line my lips. So actually I'm going to go in with the lipstick, the Pacifica lipstick first and then I will go in with the Antonym lip pencil. Such a pretty shade. It's not matte by any means. This is going to slip around. This is going to transfer. You're definitely going to have to touch this up throughout the day but it's such a, a beautiful formula. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this coral pencil by Antonym just to give my lips a little bit more shape and clean up any uh, wobbly lines. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful. I know I don't do a lot of powder foundation videos and that's honestly because I don't, have a lot of experience with them and I prefer liquids and creams but I think if you're looking just for an all-in-one really good kit for travel just to have on your makeup vanity or to keep in your makeup bag just something that's really easy and fuss free I think this is a really nice kit I probably won't reach for this over a lot of my other cream products just because I love mixing cream foundations with illuminators and moisturizers and oils like I love doing that with my products and with powders you really can't do that so that's really the only downside for me that's no fault of this actual product it's just the type of product that it is but I really do like this kit I love everything in this kit I think everything performed beautifully and I love that you just get a nice sampling of everything so if you don't want to spend money and buy the full size foundation or buy all these different products separately I would definitely invest in the kit I think it was around $35. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all are enjoying all of these clean beauty makeup videos. I will have one more video in this series and it will be up on Friday, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be a really, really fun one. I think y'all are going to enjoy it. I hope y'all are having a blessed week as always, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.